I'm Glenn Poveromo, and I'm here to offer you some more tips for positive thinking. And before I begin, I would like to offer my sincere thanks and gratitude to all of you who are out there helping to keep all of us safe. To you all, I just say thank you. So here's today's tip for the day. Watch your language. Wow, that sounds a little bit harsh and confrontational, doesn't it? Watch your language. But it's a powerful tip. Let me explain it a different way. It's a wise idea to pay attention to the words that you use when speaking to yourself, both internally and externally, because it's going to create a feeling inside you. And if you watch what you're saying, you'll create a better feeling. Now, what's the difference between that and watch your language, besides the amount of words? The difference is the feeling that it creates. And that's what I'm here to talk about today to you, about using words that give us a positive feeling that make us feel positive and hopeful rather than using words that make us feel negative and hopeless. You see, words have a connotation. And what does that mean? Words create feelings. Very simple. It's a very simple concept. Sure, words create feelings. And the more positive feelings we can create, the more positive thoughts we'll have and the better our chemistry will be inside our body. And we'll be more apt to think in a solution-based way rather than a problem-based way. But let me give you a couple examples. Let's say you're in a tough spot right now. And you could say, you know what? I have a real problem. I just have this problem. Or you could say, you know what? I have a challenge. I have a real challenge. What's the difference between problem and challenge? It's quite obvious. A problem is going to keep you bound in chains. A challenge, you actually put your shoulders back and you'll be thinking in ways to solve it. Another thing could say is, I'd like to or I want to, but what if you say I commit to, I must? You see, just using those words makes you think and feel in a whole different direction, doesn't it? I came to a wall. How about if you said, you know, I came to a hurdle? That implies you can get over this thing, doesn't it? Or what if you said, you know, I'm really terrible at this, I stink. But what you, you would say, you know, I need to improve. Makes you feel differently, doesn't it? Makes you think in a different direction as well as feel. What if you say, you know, I just can't do this. I'm a failure. Well, what if you said, you know what, I just need to find a different way to do this. And we could come up with dozens of examples, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say to you. Words create feelings. And the words that we choose can put us in either a positive direction or a negative direction and it becomes a matter of choice. There's a science called NLP, which stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. Now, what does that mean? Well, neuro speaks about the neural pathways in our brain, which creates chemistry in our body. Linguistic, well, that refers to language, and programming refers to we can actually program our body's chemistry through the language that we use. NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. It's very, very powerful, and it's a tool that we can practice. And the more we practice it, the more adept we become at using it properly. And the more we learn to use it properly, the more good moments we create for ourselves rather than poor moments that we create for ourselves. Let me tell you a little story right now about a friend of mine who changed his entire life with one single word. And it happened to him spontaneously. He didn't plan this out. So you have a friend for over 50 years now, and he had been through some tough things in his life. He was in a couple of serious car accidents. He didn't have a job, didn't have a job prospect, didn't even have any idea what job he could have. He had very little money, and whatever money he had, he was spending sitting in the bar drinking, just crying in his beer. And one day the bartender saw him and went over and said, hey, how you doing? And he said, in that moment, he said, I'm doing excellent. And he said, it just came to him. And he decided in that moment, Whenever anybody asked him, how you doing? He was going to say, I'm doing excellent. And he began to say it over and over. And he began to say it to himself. And the more he said it to himself, the better he began to feel. And rather than wallowing in his misery, he put his mind into motion. And he eventually secured a very good job and had a very good career. He didn't become a movie star, a millionaire, or find the winning lottery numbers. But he lived a very good life, and he still is today. He's comfortable, he's modest, and if you ask him how you're doing, he'll tell you, I'm doing excellent. 
one word changed his whole life because it made him feel a different way, which made him think in a different direction, and it changed his whole energy and body chemistry around. So this is something that's available to all of us. We can all practice it. It's a skill just like learning a sport, a craft, a foreign language, how to cook, whatever's new to you. It's just practice and awareness, and it can make your life better by using it. So that's my tip for you today. Watch your language. So until next time, I wish for you and all your loved ones safe passage through this pandemic moment in time. It's very challenging. And I wish for you all to be happy, to be healthy, to be safe, and to be well. I'm Glenn Poveromo, and I thank you.